What's your opinion about the Bible be the slave book? Well, it's not really our opinion. Mm. It's, it's a fact because you didn't speak English, you didn't have a religion in Africa until, you know, slavery came mm. along in the way that you have it today. Um, <coughs> so, yes, it is a slave book because it was really originally to help the slaves of the Anunnaki, mm. known as the Lulu Amidu. It was meant to keep them in shape and keep them in order. Um, and then in time, you know, Enki um, tricked us, well, en en Enlil and Enki, the brothers, um, sons of Anu, when they were warring and weren't getting the, um, the slaves to do the work, it, eventually Enki mm. um, sided with, with what, who they Tam called Zuen. Mm. And then, yeah, right, so then it went on to Tammuz being assigned to, mm. to the workers. So... It is a Sumerian doctrine, and um, yes, it is. It was a book to keep them in control, but then it got the spell got cast on um, on us or the or the Adamites, shall I say? And then the Adamites put it on people today. So a lot of people today are just like. But don't forget that the the, the, um, the Quran as well is also enslaved us in, in mentally, and yeah. So mm, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, because. The Quran comes from the Bible, yeah. and uh, you know the Bible, the New Testament comes from the Old Testament, and it, and it's funny what you just said because in Islam, when you take your shahada, mm. um, one of the names that you get is Abdullah, which literally translates as slave of Allah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, they're both the monotheistic religions are yeah slave or, books or the three frogs. Yeah, yeah.